our choice. Ah, our choice, exactly, yes. Genesis 1 states that Yahweh created man in his own image, in the image of God, or Eloah, created he him. Male and female created he them. And now, that same creator is offering every one of us the chance to choose to be recreated in his own image. So tell me, how can you know for a surety that he has fulfilled his promise to you to recreate you? Uh, some people have so much joy in the Lord, so much confidence. How can you know for yourself that he will keep his promises to you through his spirit? Well, I'll tell you one way that is not an indicator, and that is your feelings. Our feelings are changeable. We're looking forward to a holiday off work. We're excited about a job promotion. It's easy to feel happy and hopeful and as though we're full of faith. But yeah. get a cold or the flu, don't get quite enough sleep, and we're dragging through the day feeling down and depressed. Your feelings are no indicator whatsoever that Yah has or has not kept his promise to breathe on you his spirit and recreate you in his image. You want to know for yourself? Just Take him at his word, and remember, he can't lie. What he says becomes the new reality. Yeah, th that's right. A new concept here. That's very good. So, w with this new understanding, Dave, can you explain to us what the unpardonable sin is? Right, the unpardonable sin has traditionally been known as the sin against the Holy Spirit. Yahushua explained the unpardonable sin in Mark 3. He said... Assuredly, I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the sons of men and whatever blasphemies they may utter. But he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation. Now, the thing that most people get confused over is they get the feeling that Yahweh is a bit vindictive when it comes to forgiving this one sin. After all, we hear how much he forgives every other sin, right? 